Alright guys, so let's find out what the difference between these two different Bosch Freak Impact drivers. Alright, so one is variable trigger only, one has a speed selector and a feature to keep the light on or off. The variable trigger only has a single LED light on the base. The model number for this one is GDX18V-1800. EC brushless motor. Specs are actually on the bottom. So this is a variable trigger only. This goes to 3400 RPM. It does not say the impacts per minute. So I'll put that up right now. The Bosch impact driver that has a speed selection, this is model number IDH182. 18 volt system, first speed is 1300 RPM, speed two is 2000 RPMs, and on speed three, it is 2800 RPM. Both of them are quarter inch hex and half inch anvil, so it's called a freak. I love this anvil. Both of them are using 6.3 amp hour batteries. Battery is full on that one, and the battery is full on this one. There's actually a, a significant difference in between these two. This one is 3400 RPM. So let's just get to it. Let's see what these can do against each other. So let's do the variable trigger only first. Is the collet quick insert? It is not, you need to adjust the collet. All right, so let's do a six inch specs first. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, is the speed selector one quick insert? Nope, you need to adjust it to put, the, put that in. All right, so same thing right here, six inch specs. It's on speed three. That's actually, uh, that's actually crazy. Yeah, it, it does that sometimes, it's, it stops. Yeah, it does that, so the trigger's pulled. I don't know why it does that. But I could I could tell you this that the, this one actually performed a lot better, which that's actually surprising to me. Right, let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. And one thing I love about the Freak is the Freak actually you don't need adapters to use a socket because the Freak and the anvil on the Freaks are a half inch already, so then you're good to go on that. All right, so let's take out the speed selector version. I'm starting to think that the other one is actually better. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's do an eight inch timber lock. We'll do it right here because the wood is deep enough. All right, ready? Go. Time. This one doesn't seem to be balanced that I, uh, nearly as well. And this one seems a little awkward to hold. Ready? Go. I don't know why it does that. Try it again. Time. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm starting not to like this already. Because it's, uh, I don't know why it's stopping immediately when it's barely not even doing anything. It's awkwardly balanced to where, especially with a bigger battery like that. Yeah, I'm starting not to like this tool already. Yeah, the uh, GDX181800 is, this is actually a much better balanced tool. Uh, this, one's, this one's very front heavy. All right, so let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. So let's check this out. Ready? Go. See, I, I don't know why it does that for no reason. It's uh, there isn't any special setting that's on. Yeah, it's just it's on speed three. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I am not sure. If you if you know, please leave in the comments so I know what to do. Ready? Go. I don't know. There we go. It's like, a, are you sure you want to do that sort of feature? 
like making sure that you're actually pulling the trigger at the right time or something I, I don't know let's do what I'm excited about because of the because of the anvil it doesn't take any adapters just goes on like that love it all right let's do a four inch lag first all right so ready go that it yeah that's it time let's do a temperature reading on that it did work pretty hard to do that but one thing I am very excited about is I did not have to worry about an adapter breaking at all let's do a 114 like I said it's hot it's hot here I'm not sure if you can see my face but um it, it's it's hot out here 113 113 degrees just by doing uh, what we did so far. All right, depending on how well this does with a four inch lag, we will go to a six inch lag, but if this, is, if this one struggles with this, then we're gonna stop it here. Because then I think we could declare a winner after that. And I'll start the timer as soon as this actually bites into the wood. All right, ready, go. that's time yep that's time all right we're just gonna we're gonna end the test there because obviously this one does seem weaker right off the bat I, I that's what I felt and so yeah but that is what I wanted to, that is what I was testing because the model number GDX 18 V 1800 this is far more powerful than this one which I thought this one was gonna be far more powerful because it has it has a tri LED beams on the front, it has a speed selector, and it has an extra feature for the lights, but it actually does seem like a very weak tool. All right, so let's take these out. All right, ready? Go. Oh, yeah. yeah, this one, this one ha is far more powerful. Let's take this one out. All right, so ready? Go. See, I don't know why it does that. It's the trigger still pulled. I don't, I don't know why it does that. It's like it needs a double tap. Time. I do not know the test results until I edit the video, but I don't like. There's a. This just seems like it's a weaker tool. I do not know why you have to pretty much double tap this for it to actually work. I have no clue why. But in my mind, I believe that the, which is crazy, which the variable trigger tool doesn't really, in too many situations, outperform the one with the speed selector. Now, both of these are IEC brushless motors. Let's do a temperature reading on that. 116 degrees, 109, 120 and 120 degrees for the variable trigger only so that's pretty much it you guys i just wanted to know what the difference of these were if it's worth the extra money if this one costs more which to me it's not because that variable trigger you know that's that could help in many situations with uh, having more power than this one does you know i'm i don't like i said i don't know what the test, test results are until at the video but i feel like the variable trigger version one over the one that has a speed selection. So that's pretty much it, you guys. More Bosch videos coming, more Craftsman and Metabo videos coming. And so, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be not notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.